This month's game will be an American Civil War battle, the Battle of Miller Crossing, which will be a Gettysburg what-if scenario. Uh, games hosted by Eric Spicer and the rules that we'll be using this month are going to be Fire and Fury with a few extra rules added in. Here we see the table set up without any troops at the moment and here we see the Union deployment on their left flank and their Union deployment on the right flank a fairly strong line which stretches all the way across through to their central position and here we can see the Confederates taking up their positions opposite on the victory hexes all the way down the line of the railway and occupying the victory hexes on their left flank as well. The Union start their advance on the left hand flank and in the centre pushing quite strongly towards the Confederate positions obviously going to try and get into combat quite quickly and force on into the Confederate victory hexes in the hill and the Confederates turn to face the oncoming Union forces on the right flank but on the flank on the left they decide that they're going to push out of the woods and get into hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Union forces as quickly as possible this will mean that they won't have to take a lot of fire from the Union artillery and hopefully keep their casualties down to a minimum and the Confederates are quite successful in holding up the Union on the left flank and hold them and then slowly begin to push them back the Union attack on the left flank is a little bit more steady they're building their forces up and not just charging in straight away and in the centre the Union and Confederate forces again get into hand-to-hand -hand combat quite quickly and start a battle long push backwards and forwards as they each in turn take quite a lot of casualties but they're pushing each other backwards and forwards and here we can see some Union artillery moving up in support of their attack in the centre in the hope of pushing the Confederate forces back and here's a quick video I have a quick fly over the the main battle area so you can just get a little idea how the battle's going along the entire front on the Confederate left flank they're now beginning to push the Union forces back quite substantially the initial Union attack has faltered and they're steadily retreating in the centre the Confederates are also beginning to run out of steam a little bit as more Union reinforcements arrive and they again in turn begin to push the Confederates back and here we can see the situation on the Confederate left flank and in the central area we can see quite strong Union forces beginning to push forward again uh, the Union left flank they're now getting their forces together in an attempt to attack the Confederate hill which is one of the victory uh, objectives and you can see there the, the Confederates are now beginning to push towards uh, one of the Union victory objectives as well Here we have another quick video, just so you can have a quick look. The, the Union are beginning to start a flanking manoeuvre, getting over the bridge uh, to get around the Confederate forces in the hope of shooting into the side and the back of the Confederates occupying uh, the Victory Hex. And can, we can see here the Confederates are now doing quite a good job of pushing the Union back towards their start points. You can see the battle in the middle of the battlefield still going backwards and forwards nobody particularly winning that one and we now have some confederate cavalry comes on as reinforcements 
um, which has stopped the Union flanking manoeuvre and they actually start threatening the Union left flank itself. The Union's still being pushed back on their right flank um, and they'll be in danger of being pushed back all the way to the victory objective that's there. And at the moment the game is swinging towards the Confederates so unable to, to win the game the, the Union have got to try and get hold of a couple of the victory objectives and that's going to mean attacking and holding Confederate uh, Hill and the bridge on their left flank and you can see some Union reinforcements arriving just in time to hold up the Confederates on their right flank to ensure that they don't capture the the hill there and we can see the Union attacking the hill that the Confederates occupy and if they can contest this hill they will win the battle and here we can see the Union have been pushed all the way back to their start point and just about managing to hold on to their own victory objective there and here's the situation at the end of the game the Union have managed to take or contest the hill um, but the timely arrival of the Confederate cavalry here has taken back the bridge which itself was a, a victory objective but the game was still a Union victory.